A closer look at the ripple effect of state representative Trisha Cotham's switch of political parties. Many are questioning what this means for abortion access in the Tar Heel state. And Cotham's move from Democrat to Republican gives the GOP a supermajority in both chambers, making it easier for the GOP to pass legislation on a lot of issues like abortion. The state currently bans abortion after 20 weeks of pregnancy, and Republicans are considering a 12 week ban. They've also introduced a total ban. WCNC Charlotte's Austin Walker shares with us a look at Cotham's past and how her switch could impact the future of this bill. Representative Trisha Cotham of the 112th district has many people questioning the future of North Carolina politics. But to understand how this could impact the future, we must first start by looking at the past. Wednesday, Representative Trisha Cotham announcing she's crossing the political aisle. The party that best represents me and my principles and what's best for North Carolina is the Republican Party. A major switch up, which could switch things up in the North Carolina Capitol. A question by many, how will Cotham vote on the upcoming abortion legislation? I feel like a lot of people who vote Democrat expect them to hold at least those very basic party line values. In North Carolina, there is currently a 20 week ban on abortion, but Republican lawmakers are pushing to change that. I think probably the number that we land on is somewhere around 12 weeks. For years, she's been outspoken on the topic. Last year, Representative Cotham tweeting she'd fight to codify Roe and defended the right to choose. This is a personal issue. And an even bigger stance was taken seven years ago. On the House floor, while criticizing a proposed 72-hour informed consent abortion bill, Cotham saying her first pregnancy ended in an abortion after her doctor told her the pregnancy was not viable and the procedure would save her life. It was awful, it was painful, and it was sad, and it is and was personal. After Wednesday's announcement, Cotham declined to answer on how she would vote when it comes down to abortion. But has the switch changed the power dynamic in Raleigh? Eric Heberlig, a professor of political science at UNC Charlotte, weighing in, saying quite a bit. Last week was that Republicans had a veto-proof majority in the Senate, but were one vote short of a veto-proof majority in the House. But now, just a week later. As long as they can get all Republicans in both the House and the Senate to vote together, they don't need to negotiate with the governor. They don't need to negotiate with any Democrats. They have the votes to do what they want. Meaning, if Governor Cooper vetoes a future abortion bill, Republicans, if all agree, can see the legislation through regardless. While we do not know how Representative Cotham will vote on this matter, we do know her outspoken remarks on the House floor seven years ago are different from her silence on Wednesday. In Charlotte, Austin Walker, WCNC Charlotte.